Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel today. I've been creating a series of video on, on the analytics aspect of marketing, how you can set up tags, how you can set up conversion tracking, tools you need to use to set up conversion tracking. And basically when you set up those conversion tracking, when you implement those tools and try to install and integrate those tools to your website and you are facing issues. So those are the questions I've been getting and I and I'll be creating different videos on that. One of and this is and that's one of the reasons why I'm creating this video today. So basically this video is on how to fix Google Tag Manager preview mode that is not working. So Basically, you, you install Google Tag Manager on your site and you want to try and preview that and you want to confirm if Google Tag Manager is working on your site. What is, the Google, what is Google Tag Manager? Google Tag Manager is a tool that, that was created by Google in 2015, I guess, for you to be able to, to track conversion on your website. One of the main aim of Google Tag Manager is to save you from the stress of back and forth. From the stress of back and forth, or to save you from the stress of back and forth with a developer. You don't have to wait for a developer to, to help you push code to a website, help you do this if you want to do something on a website. You have to be calling a developer, and the developer will be telling you he or she is busy and all those things. That is the essence of Google Tag Manager. So let me change the, the title to Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager. So, so one thing first I want you to know is that so Google Tag Manager is a very, very important tool that any digital marketing person must learn how to use you must learn how to use it. Even if you are not an expert 100%, you still need to be able to use it 50% and it is it is easy. So let's check the preview mode that we are talking about. Let me go to Google Tag Manager. This is a preview mode. Let's click on preview mode. Let's click on preview mode. Let's click on preview mode. It's, it's loading, so let's give it a bit of time. Reloading. So let me click on preview mode again. So can you see the preview mode is coming up? So you install Google and Google tag up those tags, but can you see this is a preview mode? This is the way the, Google, the preview mode looks like. So let's click on this. Let's click on our site and click on connect. So in the case that you have, can you see that it is saying connecting? not connected it's not connected yet so let's wait if it will connect let's wait if it will connect we want to confirm if the google tag manager code that we that we put this on this website it has given us it has given us the option that it is connected it is working so while in some cases can you see it has even load up it has fired up all the tags that I've set up with this Google Tag Manager account. All these tags here. Yeah. It has set up all the tags here. Yeah. Can you see that are working on this website and the one that are not that did not fire? So for this GTA WhatsApp, it is not integrated. I didn't I didn't fire this tag, so that's why it did not work. So if you want to, if you have a case. In a case whereby this thing is not connected and it's telling you it is not connected and you can confirm and it's not connected and you are having issues for you, you are having issues confirming that Google Tag Manager that you just installed on your website is working or not. So one of the case, it will connect. For you to confirm that Google Tag Manager is working, once you click on the preview mode, it will connect. Once it connects, it will show you all the tags. And if it's a new account that you just set up, that you just push the code to the website, you will not have any tag. 
it is because I've set up all this tag before, and this is not a new account, and that is why we are having all this tag. So, if in the case whereby it is not working and this thing is not connected, so definitely it is telling you that the Google Tag Manager snippet code that you copy or you send to a developer is not working, and the developer did not implement it well. So the first thing that you need to look that you need to look at, let's come. This is it. This is the code that you that you usually get from Google to implement on your website. What I believe is usually different is the is this thing is the GTM code like a unique ID that is unique to you. But this is the way it is on the edge of your page, and the second code should go to the body of your page. You might send this to a developer, and the developer makes a mistake or something is wrong somewhere. But I want to let you know that this is the code that you know. Another way. I want to show you a snippet of code of you say, can you see legacy tag of UA detected? That is Google tag. So on this side like this, the Google tag manager is not working. Can you see? Because in some cases, you can see something like this. That is, this website is seeing the universal analytic, analytics on the website, but it is not seen. Can you see? It is not recommending that the Google global tag and Google tag manager offer an improved measurement experience giving you a better control while making the implementation easier you can have this kind of scenario so if you have this kind of scenario what are the things you do or you use your preview mode this is a preview mode that is not working that i showed you and it is showing that there's no google tag manager on this page or you and or this is not the error you are getting you are getting another type of error entirely the first step you need to confirm is that GTM snippet is not added to your website. You ask yourself the question, is it added to my website? If you are sure that it is added to your website, what you need to do, there are various ways to verify the GTM implementation. To name a view, to name a few rather, use a tag assistant Chrome extension. So what's a tag assistant Chrome extension? Let me show you what a tag assistant Chrome extension is. You go to, this is the, this is the Chrome extension here. I have it, tag assistant legacy by Google. So if you don't have it on your website already, go to Google Tag Assistant. Just type Google Tag Assistant. Search for it. And search for it. After that, you click on this. You click on it on your search result on your website. Can you see the case of it's not connected? Now, these are some, these are some things it will show you. I didn't mean it's not connected. So these are one of the case. So if you don't have this on your website before, it will tell you to add it. Just go on Google Chrome, your Google Chrome browser, and type this there. So then add, click on add, and I'm not ready to read. So what you need to do next is to look at this website. Let's go to your website. Let's go to this website. Once you are sure that you've installed the Google Tag Assistant, the first step, like I said here, yeah, is for you to check. So check, use the Google Tag Assistant code message which checks for Google Pixel. This Tag Assistant can help you to identify if Google Analytics is on your website. And that you have to do if you have to do something. So it will like 30 seconds. You can scroll page something this page like this. Like it is recording already. So can you see that it has it has seen how many is all to take now? So can you see this is the Google Tag Manager? It's not good here. That is Google Tag Manager. This is the code and that's the this Google Tag code that you install. If you use and you so that's the one that you okay. So what you do is to watch the code you installed or. If you use if you if you send the code to the developer, ask the developer that to and confirm if the developer follow follow the instruction that is given in the snippet of code that you sent to him or her. So that that's just that. Another step is that you check the source code. If if you are if you are a technical person and you are you are the one money or you are the one managing your website yourself, you can press Control U on your website. And check the source code within the edge section. Within the edge section, you will see. Can you see Google Tag Manager for WordPress? Can you see Google Tag Manager for WordPress within the opening of the edge section? 
at the close of the S section, you will see, you will see your snip, you will see the Google Tag Manager between this space and the end. Can you see? These are the Google Tag Manager code. So I want to show you. Can you see the end of the Google Tag Manager code? So that's that's so within the head section, you go there and check within the edge open of the edge section and the close of the edge section because that was the instruction given to you by the code you generated. So let's go back to that code again. This is the code. This code said that copy this code below. This is the code you will get when you open a Google Tag Manager account and you want to install Google Tag Manager on your website. If you are yet, if you don't know how to install Google Tag Manager on your website, I created using WordPress. I created a video on that. You can check out that video on my on my channel. So the instruction is that paste this code as I in the head of the page as possible. This is what you will do. Can you see? As I as I as I in the edge. So after this edge section, yeah, open up the edge around anywhere here. You can paste that code around anywhere here. So that's the instruction. That's the show. And the second one to body of your code. Let's go to the body of your code. So can you see the opening of the body? This is the opening of the body. Yeah, can you see the opening of the body? That's where you, you can call, paste this code after this DVA anywhere here within the body, within, within the body of your, within the opening and the close of the body of your source code. So that's how you can implement Google Tag Manager. So another case that that, that can cause that error. And one of the ways for you to be able to debug it and fix it, because one thing about debugging is for you to be looking at likely cause of the problem you are facing. What are the likely causes of the issue I'm facing? So you, as an experienced person, you need to be looking around. So you need to correct or incorrect. Another one that can cause is correct or incorrect container snippet added to the, to the website. Compare it with the one which is added to your website source code. Tag Assistant will help you do that. So let's say, check this code. This, you come to go back to your, to your Google Tag Manager account. Yeah. Go back to your Google Tag Manager account. Here. Click on this, this GTM code. This thing is unique to you. No one on the internet has this. So you click on it. Click on it. Can you see? When you click on it, this is what I just showed you. Click and check this code. Compare it with what is on your source code. This, especially this code, this, this unique numbers and this unique code that you have. Make sure it is the same thing with what is on your website. That's another way you can debug it. So also remember that you are all your developers should not modify the Google, the Google Tag Manager, not Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager, Manager Snippet Code. You should not modify it. It must be added as, it must be added to the site exactly as you have copied it from the GTM. Exactly as you have copied it here, exactly as you have copied it here, just like what I showed you here, this code, just follow the instruction. The instruction is paste this code as I, in, in the head of the page as possible. If you, are, if you are not sure of this, like I said earlier, just check my video on how you can install Google Tag Manager on your website. Follow these instructions strictly. So those are the ways you can be able to debug your Google Preview Mode that is not working. Another way, another, another thing that, that might be causing this problem is if you have a blocker, if you have an ad blocker on your website, an ad blocker can appear somewhere around here on your page. If you have an ad blocker on your, on your website, just get rid of the ad blocker. Imagine you are trying to assess a page. Let me try and assess another page. And you're having an ad blocker on it. If you're having an ad blocker, that's a good tag manager code that you store. Your preview mode you are trying to verify is not connected or is not working. So I believe you've been able to gain value in this video I created today. This video is created out of 
questions that I've been getting from people. And that's it. I, I'm really, really, I'm really, really willing to help and assist people to get the best out of their digital marketing skills and get it the best out of their business. And that is the reason why I'm sharing this video with you. If you are here to subscribe, I will encourage you to subscribe and like my video and share this video. Thanks a lot.